So Republicans are desperately trying to move on and from Donald Trump after their disastrous midterm results. But is that realistic? Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. I'm also a lawyer and an academic, and I'm here to help you stand up to the BS of the MAGA crowd. So ever since the midterm election turned into such a disaster for the Republicans, where they were expecting a red wave and ended up with at best a red trickle, actually losing seats in the Senate and losing control of the legislature here in my home state of Michigan. I actually used to work for the Michigan legislature, and to say... That I wasn't anticipating Democrats taking control of the legislature anytime soon would be an understatement. So much for everybody talking about what an amazing election DeSantis had. What about Gretchen Whitmer here in Michigan? In some respects, she's the anti-DeSantis. And now Democrats have control of all three branches of the state government for the first time in over 40 years. Now, most analysis seems to have focused on two things being the problems for Republicans in this election. One, of course, being abortion. And the second being Donald Trump. Now, Republicans who are commenting on this are quite right about the fact that Donald Trump is a huge liability for them. And in fact, the best thing that happened to Brian Kemp in Georgia and Ron DeSantis in Florida was Donald Trump attacking them. Just about anywhere you had one of Donald Trump's election deniers running, they lost. And in many cases, lost badly, far underperforming the rest of the ticket. So you can see where the Republican leaders don't want him to run again. Well, too late for that, as he announced another presidential campaign. Not that that's a surprise to anybody who's been paying attention. So is the Republican Party moving on from Donald Trump? Let's take a look. Here is polling, according to YouGov, that has been tracking Donald Trump's favorability rating. Now, check out his approval rating. This is among Republicans. Green up here is favorable. Red down here is unfavorable. Right now, among Republicans, he's viewed almost 80% favorable to about... 19%, 18.5% unfavorable. Let's contrast that with how Democrats feel about him. Whoa, almost the exact reverse. In fact, even a little bit worse, where he is 85.6% unfavorable with Democrats, 12.9% favorable. But here's the key factor, which is independence. Ah, yes. And Donald Trump, by a margin of nearly 30 points is viewed negatively. You can see why he was such a liability for the Republicans in the election. But here's the problem that any Republican is going to have running against him. Going back to the Republicans. He is viewed 80% favorability by the Republicans. Actually, it looks now like it just went down a tad to 75.5%. Big difference. Now, you have to remember that Donald Trump won most of his primaries when he was running for president with about 30% of the vote. So especially if you're dealing with a crowded Republican primary, that only goes to his advantage. What's more is part of the reason that he was able to get so many of his acolytes to be the Republican nominee is that the Republican base still follows him. It mattered to those people that he endorsed them. As a result, any kind of prediction that the party is moving on from Donald Trump, I think is mistaken because guess what? This is the party and the party are saying overwhelmingly that they're in favor of him. So in that respect, I'm going to kind of echo Bernie Sanders' sentiments here, which are that, first of all, I think Donald Trump running is bad for democracy. He is a toxic entity to our American institutions. At the same time, as a politician, I think that it's going to be good for Democrats having him running. I expect that he will win the primaries, that he will be the Republican nominee. And again, coming back to the latest figures with independents... Oh, now he's up to, I think they just updated the numbers here as I'm doing this video. Now he's viewed 62 to 34% unfavorable by independents. The reason I'm bringing this up is I think we need to be cautious about these arguments that are being made by Republican talking heads about how the party has moved on from Donald Trump or how Republicans don't support him anymore. That is just not borne out by the facts here. And what's more is his base is especially sensitive to the idea that elites are trying to tell them what to do. The fact that these elected officials are telling Republicans not to vote for him in the primaries will only encourage the mega crowd to vote for him even more strongly. One thing that is clear, though, is even with Trump running for president, that's not going to get in the way of the various investigations that have been targeting him. In fact, if you want to find out about one of them, check out this video I did a while ago over here, 
where I talk about a federal judge that specifically labeled Donald Trump as a criminal. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.